Hi guys, I am Karika and welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be another keto grocery haul. This week has been crazy for me and I'm pretty sure it's been crazy for everybody out there. I'm going to make this very quick and just say be careful, be cautious, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer because we are not invincible so take care of yourself as much as you can. This grocery haul was actually really really fun for me i went to aldi for the first time i usually don't go to aldi just because it is a bit of a drive for me if i don't have to drive 25 minutes i'm not gonna do it since i don't have school <laughs> for like the next month i was like why not just go take the time and go to aldi so i went to aldi and gnc and i picked up some really awesome items that you guys will see in the video so stay tuned and enjoy the video so i was able to find some snacks on clearance and i'll show you guys what they are when first i get time home. at aldi's i'm really excited and i do have a quarter Everyone told me to bring a quarter. I'm so excited. So far, my first impression is that they have a lot of stuff here, which is good. They also have cashews on sale for $4.49. I really love cashews. I was considering buying some, but I know they're higher in carbs. But when I was the most successful on keto, I was eating cashews. So I don't think they're too bad. So I'm a bit annoyed with their like nut selection because I just want some plain pecans and I can't find any. I found these coconut cashew crisp and I scanned it on my keto app, it gave it a B. It says you can have some, but you have to limit it. You could probably have like only one piece. So it is keto approved, but it's really not worth it, but they look good. And now I'm walking into their produce and bread section. I'm gonna see if I can find the zero carb bread. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to find it. I love how they already have their cilantro in a bag already. That's a big plus. And the cauliflower is cheap, so I like that as well. I got into the habit of shredding my own cheese, so I'm gonna pick some up. I'm super disappointed in their milk selection. I like the unsweetened coconut milk and I don't see it here. They have toasted coconut milk, but I don't know about the macros. So these are like their versions of like sparkling ice, flavored water and all that stuff. But all of these have carbs, which is weird. And I don't really like to drink my carbs, so I'm not gonna get one. I cannot believe the flax seeds are so cheap here. I found the elevation bars that everyone on keto has probably tried before. And these are only two net carbs, but people say that they're just like candy bars. And they also have the soybean and black bean at a mommy spaghetti here. These are, I think these can be keto friendly, but they're just a little too high in carbs for me. So Aldi did not have all the things I needed, so I'm at Target. And this is a different Target that I usually go to. It's about 20 minutes from me. It's pretty nice. Target honestly has such a good bakery. So good. So Ken Steakhouse, I think they have like the best ranch and it's on two for four. And it's not the healthiest, it's really, really not. Actually, I'm not even sure if the ranch is on sale because the tag isn't on, but I'm gonna try anyways. It's not the healthiest, but I love these. It's so, so good and it's so much tastier than this. This is the one I currently have and I'm so over it. I like can't even look at it no more. I really like this one, but it's like not clean. Honestly, that isn't clean. Nothing is really clean except the avocado ranch, but I don't really like it. So I'm gonna stop using it and find something else that I like, even though it's not gonna be the cleanest. Do you guys like green beans? I don't know if I like them. I haven't had them in a very long time, but they are keto friendly and I think I should try out a new vegetable. So I might pick these up and stick it in my air fryer and see what they taste like. They have the keto pancakes and waffle mix on sale. Even though you can honestly make it by yourself, this is convenient. I really want to try a low carb tortilla because people always eat these on keto. So I want to try one. This is four carbs and this one's also four carbs. They have the Powerade Zero on sale for 79 cents, but there's hardly any left. They have the Spin Dress Sparkling Water, buy one get one free. I don't really care for these, but it's a good deal. And they have the Sparkling Ice Drinks, which I love on sale for 88 cents versus a dollar. This is a really pretty Target. The one near me does not look like this. Really cute. So I didn't buy this today, but I got this yesterday at Publix. They're buy one get one free right now. So I got two of the Beyond Meat Ground Beef. Of course, this is for my weekly meal prep. And then at Walmart, I got some pizza sauce. I'm gonna use this as pasta sauce instead. Guys, this is only three net carbs, which is really good because pasta sauce, like the Michaels or Rouse, they have like four to five carbs. So the fact that this pizza sauce has only three carbs, I got two of them for my meal prep and I'm also going to be using this if I want to make like a pasta inspired dish I'll definitely get this this is the great value pizza sauce from Walmart 
and it was super affordable versus Rouse, which is Rails, Rouse, whatever. It was like two something, I believe. So if you're looking for a pasta sauce, pizza sauce, whichever, this is only three net carbs per serving and it's under three bucks. I definitely would pick this up. And then right here is a bunch of greens. I got two avocados from Target. And then I got a bag of green onions. And this right here is some Italian parsley. And this cilantro is from Aldi's. Also yesterday from Publix, I picked this up because I really wanted to try it. It's the Enlightened Keto Ice Cream Bars. It's only one net carb per bar. And guys, this is so good. It's so worth the money and it's only one net carb. Ingredients are way cleaner than the other Enlightened Ice Cream. This is a peanut butter chocolate chip flavor. I had it as soon as I got in the cart and it's really good. I'm excited to try the other ice creams that they have. What is that? Monkey Business? Oh, that's dairy free. Light ice cream keto collection. Yeah, I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. And if you want a super low carb, delicious ice cream, I definitely would get this as a snack. It comes with four in a package. It's really good. And then I got this bag of pecan halves from Target, Target had a lot going on it was really busy and there was nothing in the store because you know but i got these pecan halves they were on sale for 5.99 and i also got these chopped walnuts pecans are like the lowest net carbs when it comes to nuts it's only one net carb per serving so that's pretty good and then walnuts these walnuts are two net carbs per serving moving on to condiments i only got two condiments i got this cholula chipotle hot sauce this has been my favorite i'm pretty sure i said that before i wish it came in a bigger bottle and then i got this sir kenningston's buffalo ranch it has some flour oil in it so i'm just letting you guys know right now this is not a clean keto item i literally have the avocado oil ranch and it's just it's just not the best in my opinion. It tastes very, very healthy, but not for me. I was debating between this one and the Ken Steaks House. The Ken Steak House Ranch that I really like. Ken's Ranch, it had two carbs and this has zero carbs. So of course I'm gonna go with this, but I might pick up a Ken's Ranch as well. And then I got these Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortillas. I usually don't ever buy actual tortillas when I'm on keto, but a lot of people eat these. So I was like, I'm pretty sure I could fit these into my diet. This is only four net carbs, which honestly isn't bad, especially if you if you're eating extremely low carb, this wouldn't break your macros for the day. I'm actually gonna use this tonight. I'm starving, I haven't eaten since one o'clock, so I'm gonna make a quesadilla out of these. I used to always eat wraps and stuff, so I'm gonna try this out. From Aldi, I got two bags of Brussels sprouts. I'm obsessed with Brussels sprouts, if you guys didn't know that. I can honestly eat them almost every day. Um, I prefer fresh over frozen just because I feel like they bake better or air fry better, but the frozen ones are good as well, but I just love them fresh. I also got some baking powder. I'm almost out and I like to have this for my 90 second bread or if I'm baking anything in my air fryer. Well, if I'm frying anything in my air fryer, I like to throw this on top of it to make it extra crispy. I picked up two of those at Target and I think they're like 55 cents. And my hand is really ashy because I just washed them, so excuse me. From Aldi, I got one case of eggs. I honestly don't even need eggs, but I was like, why not? Since people are buying up the whole entire store, I should get a case of eggs just to be safe. Then I got four cans of green beans from Target. These were only 55 cents per can, which is super affordable. The net carbs are pretty bomb as well. It's three carbs and one fiber, so that's two net carbs per serving. I'm going to put these in my air fryer and throw some nutritional yeast over it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to taste bomb. I got four blocks of cheese did i need four blocks of cheese probably not but they were only a dollar something so i think aldi has the cheapest price when it comes to block cheese i did get a cheese grater and i've been just shredding cheese myself so i got four just to have on hand i also got a bag of lemons because lemons are a must in my household and then i got this packet of shrimp it was on sale for five dollars and i'm going to cook this tonight this is what i'm going to be making my quesadilla with i'm literally starving so i want to hurry up to be done so i can eat at aldi i also got this unsweetened almond coconut blend i prefer just plain coconut milk but they didn't have it so i just got this i'll be fine for one week i didn't want to go to another store so i picked that up then i got this solid white albacore tuna and water and drinks i'm not a really big drink person i don't buy them too often but i've been in a non-water mood lately so i picked up two powerade zeros and they were on sale as you saw on the video and i got two sparkling ice drinks i got the strawberry lemonade i feel like this is an orange color so i think the name is pretty weird strawberry lemonade and then i got a grape raspberry and i haven't tried this flavor before i also got these two they're sparkling water beverage i hope i like these because 
I tried one similar at Publix and I didn't like it. So hopefully these taste good. I got strawberry lemonade and peach mango. And also the flavor of the Powerade is mixed berry. From Aldi, I picked up six heads of cauliflower. This is going to be like the main thing that I'm using for my meal prep. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with cauliflower. And I feel like when you cook these and bake them, they shrink down a lot. So that's why I picked up six because I want it to last me the whole entire week so I don't have to cook again. I also picked up some aluminum foil and I got some parchment paper as well. And then I went to GNC to see if I found anything on sale and they had the Quest chips, the ranch flavor on sale for, would it focus, for $1.29. And they also had Smart Sweets on sale, which I have never seen before. They were $1.64. Um, this is like the Sour Patch one, only three grams of sugar. I really like these and I don't ever buy them because they're too expensive, but I got three of the sour ones and I got two of the gummy bears. I had these before and they taste really good. I haven't had these, but I'm sure they'll taste amazing. They had way more, but I don't want to, well, I don't want to overbuy and then not go through them. I was really hoping to find Quest bars and Quest cookies, but these will do just fine. I'm actually probably going to have one of these with my tortillas tonight and I had a very low carb day. I had some keto waffles and some egg salad which was no carbs so my carb intake for today is super low so i'll be fine i also picked up these support weight loss pills they're basically diet pills that i want to get into not now uh, my ankle swollen so i can't really work out but i want to start taking these when i'm allowed to be more active i want to see if it really helps my weight loss uh, this is everything i got from gnc and aldi and that's just some soap i got but yeah, this is a pretty big grocery haul. I had a really exciting day, honestly. I love grocery shopping. So now I'm set for the rest of the week. And that was it, guys. That was my keto grocery haul for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed filming it. I had a lot of fun just going through different aisles and seeing products that I have not seen before. But I probably won't make going to Aldi a habit because I didn't find it that that amazing for me to go there constantly. But they had some great things that I really enjoyed, like the salmon was pretty affordable. You could not find fresh salmon that cheap. Also, the pasta, they had the black bean pasta and the edamame pasta. I really like those. So if I really need some specialty items i'll definitely go back to aldi but overall i had a great time grocery shopping i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like the video please like it and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and share my channel with anyone who's interested in the ketogenic lifestyle or anyone who just wants to live a healthier lifestyle thank you so much for watching i am karika and i'll see you guys in my next video bye